Well, I finally crashed on my motorcycle. Gosh, you know, I've always driven like a grandpa, totally safe, careful and all that kind of stuff. And I was today too, but there was some unexpected ice. How there was ice when it was 43 degrees out, I'll never know. But I think what happened is some sort of truck or car or something that was in ice or snow somewhere just dumped a bunch around the corner because it was at night. I didn't even see it till it was too late, till I was down on my side. Now, luckily, I was slowing down before that because I was coming up on a part of the road that was wet and there was a, a bend in the road. So anytime I come up to something that's wet with the bend in the road, I slow way down. And lucky I did. I saw I was only going to about 20 when I put it over. <laughs> then a couple of people, really nice people stopped. They go, oh, you okay? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And I'm like, yeah, fine, because I wore the right gear. <laughs> and there was a woman that came over to me and asked you know, if I was okay. And then also told me that she had just run into somebody, just rear-ended somebody on that same patch. And then while I was um, talking to her, three other cars skidded behind me. And then when I went back there and looked carefully, there was some and it was compacted and, and there was some other stuff with it. Maybe, maybe it was, it was like soap or something, <laughs> super slippery. I, it could have been somebody just playing a joke, thinking it was funny to make cars slide around or something, but it certainly wasn't cold enough out for this to happen naturally, it had to be put there. Anyways, just goes to show you how fast this can happen and how important the right gear is because I'm fine. I mean, I went all the way down on my shoulder and my elbow and my hip and my leg and I slid, the bike slid and no scrapes, no bruises, no nothing because I had the right gear. I had the shoulder pad, that took a bunch of impact. I had the elbow pad that took a bunch of impact. Even though I was just going 20, that's faster than you can run. And when you're running and then you fall down on your side suddenly, you're gonna get hurt unless you got some good gear on. Just goes to show you, you gotta wear the gear. No matter what, if you're in a hurry, doesn't matter. Just be later, put on the gear. If it's too hot out, don't ride. Or just put the gear on and sweat. It's all about the gear. And then my KLR is also basically unaffected. Um, there's the, the fairing guard up front, just got scraped a little bit. And then the uh, solo box in the back got bent, but it still works and, and it stayed on and because it's really sturdy, very, very well made. And that's scraped up too, a little bit of paint, so I'll probably have to bend that straight again. And then the handles on the bike have the, the metal pieces that go around that um, specifically are made so the handle doesn't get bent out. Nothing's bent and bike drive's great. So KLRs are tough anyways, but you know, all that extra stuff on there really helps a bunch. So there you have it, it goes to show. Right equipment is where it's at. They always used to tell me, it's not a matter of if you go down, it's when you go down. And when I sold my Harley, I, I thought, yeah, beat the odds, they're wrong, I didn't go down, ha ha, and then, now I just, I went down today. And, uh, but because I had the right bike and the right equipment and the right gear, everything's fine. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy.